Well, hey, folks, and welcome again to the More Summer 2022 Adventures, Day 49. <clears throat> wow. 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 Uh, <laughs> we uh, hadn't have been for a day. <clears throat> Maybe not quite as eventful as we had wished, but it's all right, and we're safe. And we're not harmed and none of that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, last night coming home, the lights on the Jeep went out. So today we had to get those repaired and it ended up being, uh, well, the bill was over seven, but it could have been close to eight. But with military discount and some other discounts that the man came up with, uh, like I say, it was over seven. But... I don't have to worry about the lighting problem anymore. Which I wasn't worried about it until last night on the way home in the dark. <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, it's all good. Was able to get over there to... Uh, we picked up our daughter from there, from her hotel. And then we went to, uh, to Mother-in-Law's. And spent the day there. Until we took the, sh the car to the... Or the Jeep to the shop. But... Uh, you know, my sister and brother-in-law came up yesterday. Today, the brother just older than Chrissy and his wife and, and their foster child came in. And then a little bit later, the youngest brother and his wife and son and granddaughter came in. And then a little bit later, the brother that's just older than Chrissy and his wife came in. So we had at one time four of the five brothers at the mom's house just enjoying each other and just good family fun. And then the brother that's the second oldest and myself and my sister and brother-in-law uh, went to <laughs> the D-Bex game. We left the ladies and the rest of the family uh, at the house to visit. Some of them were tired because they traveled the day they went on to the house. Uh... The two youngest ones went with Chrissy to go get the Jeep out of the shop and, you know, get it back. We drove home tonight in the dark, or at night, in the light. <laughs> it weren't dark. Okay, so the lighting lighting problem is, is remedied. And uh, it was a good, anytime you go to a baseball game, it's going to be a, it's going to be good. Just some are a little better than others, all right? Got off to a slow start. The Giants took a lead. It was two to nothing. Then it was two to one. Then it was tied. And then they took a lead, and we come back and tied it. And then when we left in the eighth, it was five five. But we have a big day tomorrow because tomorrow is the birthday celebration. So we left, and then in the top of the ninth, uh, the D backs committed an error, and the Giants scored a run, and into the game. The bottom after the three ounce of bottom of the ninth it was six five the Giants. But having said that, it's baseball. Okay, it's gonna be good. See the shirt, huh? See the shirt? Ray, the only constant is baseball. Alright. <laughs> and I work for that reason <laughs> that reason tonight. <clears throat> Other than that, though, hey, listen, we 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 did we did, we had a good time today. Um, like I said, Chrissy got to spend more time with her mom and her aunt, and then her brothers <coughs> and the nieces. Uh, you know, it was it's a good day, good day. And tomorrow is going to be better. Uh, you know, it's it's the birthday celebration for her mom, and everybody everybody is really looking forward to it. Really are, uh, even her. All right. And speaking of looking forward, uh, hey, you know, how about looking forward to some scripture? All right. Uh, today's uh, verse comes from John fifteen four. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. Now, that's, that's the one version there. Uh, another word, version is... Uh, Dwell in me, and I will dwell in you. 
live in me and I will live in you. Just as no branch can bear fruit of itself without abiding in virtually united to the vine, neither can you bear fruit unless you abide in me. And folks, what they're talking about here, you know, is that Christ told us to spread the gospel. Tell them what I have done. Right? Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the further most parts of the earth. Okay? He said, go out and tell them what I've done. You know? He didn't say tell them what Moses did. What, you know, Samuel did or David did. He says, tell them what I did. I am the Son of God. Tell them what I did. That I came to earth as a child lived as an individual for 33 years experienced everything that man can experience preached for three was betrayed beaten crucified died on the cross buried and rose on the third day tell them what I have done tell them that I am the risen tell them that I am the Messiah tell them what I have done and that's what they're talking about here. You know, just as no branch can bear fruit itself without abiding in, being virtually united to the vine, neither can you bear fruit unless you abide in me. And what he's talking about, we have to be in Christ. We have to have that personal relationship with Christ. And the Heavenly Father. And being able to tell them. Now do I have all the answers? Absolutely not. But I can tell you what Jesus did for me. And that's what Christ tells us to do. Tell them what I did. Tell them about me. Abide in me. So I can abide in you. And the more you read your Bible folks. And you let the Holy Spirit. Re uh, reveal to you what is in the scripture, the more you are able to tell what Christ did. Not just from what he did for you, but why he did. A little bit like yesterday's, loving, you know, Christ's law of, of, of love, all right? So as long as we abide in Christ, we can have that energy and that love and that desire and the knowledge to go forth and to tell you what let me tell you about my friend Jesus that's all you got to say that's all you got to say and folks if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ then I strongly urge you to 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 develop one to start a relationship and the way you do that is very very simple just repeat after me dear Heavenly Father I come to you as a sinner. Forgive me. I repent of my sins. Cover me with Christ's blood that was shed on the cross for me. That I may be worthy of the gift of your son. And the gift of salvation that he, he, he died on the cross. And he rose the third day to give me a chance for eternal life with you. And I pray, O oh Father, that you just cleanse me with Christ's blood. And send me the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit may reveal to me as I read my Bible and as I pray your scripture and what you would have me in, in, in my prayers. Reveal to me what you would have me to know for that day as I grow in my relationship with Christ. Thus growing up my relationship with you that I can be worthy of your gift of your son and that I will be worthy of of being called a believer and a follower of Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Folks, if you have said that prayer, then I encourage you, just don't mumble the words and say, okay, it's done. Believe it and say it in your heart. All right? Ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. Call a friend that you know is a Christian, a good, firm believer, follower of Christ, 
and tell them you just said the prayer and ask them to help you. Attend church, read your Bible, and pray every day. And develop that relationship so that you can abide in Him and Him in you. And you can produce the fruit. That's all it takes is a relationship with Jesus Christ. An ongoing, grow, an ongoing growing relationship with Christ. May y'all be blessed. Should have some good word from tomorrow for the, the parties tomorrow. And so some good word tomorrow night. Lord willing, God bless. Good night. <laughs>